Why do Republicans seem to be the ones who essentially support a caste system? You're supposed to have these authority figures, and you're supposed to have the utmost respect for these authority figures, you know. Respect the president. Respect the police. Respect the military. Respect these figures because they're those positions. Unless, of course, it's someone on the left spewing something that they don't like, and then, you know, then you're free to not respect them. Then you're free to declare that they're the worst thing ever. But, you know, if it, if it stands for tradition, if it stands for religion, if it stands for those things, you're supposed to respect it. Respect the flag. Respect these symbols. I, that shit pisses me off. And, and, you know, it's usually the same people who will say things like, Oh, uh, oh, I, I have no problem with black people. And then they'll turn around and say things that essentially, Well, if only black people acted more like respectable white people, you know, there wouldn't be a problem, right? And sort of a, the same sort of stereotype with, you know, gay people. Oh, I don't have a problem with gay people as long as they don't flaunt it, as long as they don't do anything that, that you know, lets the public know that they're gay. Oh, okay. Or, you know, the whole thing. Oh, we, we, uh, we believe in women's rights. And then you don't want to do anything to, even though the, the wage gap is tiny, you don't want to do anything to try to tackle the wage gap. You don't want to do anything to try to help women in any way. And, of course, the, the, the typical thing is to be anti-abortion. Now, I understand the reasoning for someone being anti-abortion is not for the purpose of restricting women's rights. It's because you feel a certain way about unborn children, about a fetus. You know, you believe that a fetus is still a living person. I kind of think kind of the same way, but I think that until we have a better, we have an alternative to abortion that can, you know, allow the, the, the fetus to be removed from the mother without killing it, you know, abortion is all we got right now. But people who just have no problem taking away women's rights. Well, because, well, you know, the entirety of man, they've they've carried babies and and it, should, it shouldn't change any, and it's just like, they shouldn't have to, especially if they've been raped or something, you know? We have, we live in a civilization where people don't have to have the horrible consequences for a number of things that in nature we would have the consequences for, right? So... You know, we can avoid a lot of that stuff. Um, it's it's weird, too, because at one point, the, some of these people will be arguing that, oh, no, we're not animals. And then you'll turn around and argue that we're animals. And you'll say we're not animals because, oh, we'll... we'll we're, we're better than animals uh, because, you know, God created, uh, you know, the whole creation story, right? And we're somehow different than, than any of the other animals. We're, and we're not animals. But then when it comes to talking about sexuality, they go right back into, oh, well, we're animals. Double standards. But yeah, the whole respect authority thing. We're just supposed to blindly respect authority. We're not supposed to question it. And you know, then you know what that comes from? That comes from not questioning religion. You're not supposed to question your faith. You're not supposed to question religion. Well, then you're not supposed to question authority figures because some of what some of the, the what religion has been used for is to control the populace. You know, and if you can get people to associate some sort of authority figure in in you know some sort of a governmental head with sort of a religious authority figure convictions then that person gets to control the populace and that's what's really scary about the way that some people support trump there are some people that it's like a cult and then there's some people that it's just it's flat out like a religion there are some people who think that god chose trump you know and to it's scary to to speak against trump being president is to speak against god that's how rabid some of these people are. So, 
You know, when I think about how rabid some of the Democrats have been about Obama, <clears throat> it's nothing, it has nothing on the rabidness of, of some of Trump's fans. Nothing. Nothing. It's just weird. I guess I don't know what more I'm saying, so, you know, banana fungus.